definitely been a few days since I vlogged, but nothing exciting really happened anyways. Did get news though a few days ago that I'm going to be going back to work. It's sooner than I expected and I wanted to get a few things done before I go back. So today is Saturday and I go back on Monday. I have a prescription to pick up today, so I'm going to be doing that. Might go for a little bit of a car ride. I actually learned how to switch out the radio in my car all by myself. I've kind of taken it out. I wanted to replace it with a new car radio. Not sure if I will go to Canadian Tire and maybe see what they have and pick one up. I am back home. This is the stereo that I got for my car. I'm super grumpy now because apparently the connector part for all of the wires is a different size in my car versus like the spot to plug it in in the stereo. To make it fit in, I would have to rewire all the wires to match into a new adapter to then put it into the new stereo. And I don't want to like go get it done at a shop or anything either because I don't want them to cut out the old connector in case I want to put my old stereo back in at any point. So yeah. Hey guys, so it's the evening now and I am trying to set up some stuff to take to work. So this is the situation right now. So I have CDs that I just want to put in my car, keep those in my car so I have something to listen to. I have my work binder, so I'll take that into work. I have this little case which just has like contacts and glasses in it, just in case something goes wrong with my contacts I'm wearing. I'll keep that in the car too. I won't take it into work, but just for emergency if I need it, I can grab it from there. I have my wallet, I don't know, I'll probably just leave it in my glove box in my car and then take this little purse into work with just my essential stuff. So this is the little purse I've been taking everywhere lately and it literally just has three or four of my most important cards. Charger I'll probably leave in my car and just grab it if I need it. I have hand lotion which I'll probably take into work because of how much we're going to be sanitizing our hands. This is just stuff I was getting ready for what I might take for like lunch and stuff tomorrow but I'm going to take a little like cheapy reusable shopping bag for my lunch so that I can wash it a million times and dry it and just keep taking it to work and I'll probably keep the stuff I need for work in there too. So I'll probably and then I'll just add in my lunch container. I'll take my tea and my Starbucks cup tomorrow. So that's the stuff that's coming with me to work. And this I'm probably just gonna leave in the office. And this little pile will just be stuff to leave in the car. So at least I have that set up for work now. I also picked out my outfit for my first day back to work. Kinda hard to see, but I picked out some black tights. They're pretty much just plain black. They're a pretty warm material, so they're really soft. And to go with the tights, I picked out a simple dress. This is just a little skater dress from Old Navy from a few years ago. It's like a dark maroon color with some little flowers on it. Good to wear together. And then I also picked out this like gray cardigan sweater thing. Like an open front one. It's long and it's got two pockets in it because I was thinking the problem with this outfit for work, no pockets. So this sweater has the pockets. That's my outfit for the first day back to work. I wanted to go for something that's really kind of lightweight. There's gonna be customers, I'm gonna be interacting with people. So to be on the safe side, I wanna wash my clothes as much as I pretty much can. Easy to wash, easy to wear. I think this is a perfect first day back to work outfit. So I just went to Sephora to do a return and it was so nice. It's their first day open, I think, or their second day. They were super lovely to me. Now I also have to make a quick stop at Canadian Tire. Dropped off Sheldon. Yeah then I'll go back home. I'm back from dropping Sheldon and for my birthday reward from Sephora I just wanted to show you guys that I got got this little Sol de Janeiro set and it has the Brazilian Boom Boom cream and the Coco Cabana cream. Super excited about that. I have wanted to try these for so long. You know me, I'm not gonna go and buy it so 
yeah, now I get to try them out. Super exciting. Hi guys, I just went and did a grocery pickup order. So I wanted to show you guys my little grocery haul. Not everything in the haul is mine. I only have a few things in there, so it's gonna look like a lot, but I'm gonna bring it all in, disinfect it all, and then I'll show you guys what I got. This is everything that I got in my grocery order today. So I got some fresh white mushrooms, because those are my favorite. I got two kinds of tomatoes, because these ones were on sale, but Sheldon can't eat this type, so I also got these type. So these are hothouse tomatoes, Roma tomatoes. I got a couple cans of olives, because I love adding olives to a lot of my different recipes. I got some diced tomatoes, because we go through those like crazy. Um, I like using them in curry a lot, so got a couple more of those. Got two boxes of KD. Now that I'm working, I'm kind of lazy with cooking, so sometimes it's good to just have something quick on hand. I got two boxes of whole grain penne pasta. I'm trying to start eating whole grain pasta a little bit more. It is a little bit more expensive, which is why I don't eat it all the time, but I always feel healthier when I eat it. I got two of my favorite soup. It's the Campbell's Everyday Gourmet Golden Butternut Squash Soup. This stuff is really good and I'm extremely picky with soup, plus I'm vegetarian. Hard to find a soup I like, but this one is amazing. I got a couple of things for Jonah's birthday activity. I was thinking we could make ginger molasses cookies because that's his favorite. So I got a little box of ground cloves and some molasses. And then I got a jug of milk because we all use milk in my house. And I got my new favorite. So this is the Pure Leaf Lemon Iced Tea. This is like my favorite. I love this iced tea. And I go through like at least one of these in a week, which is a lot for me because I never drink juice. I'm obsessed with this. So yeah, the iced tea is my favorite. And that is everything that I got for groceries this time. I am also doing a no buy this month and my no buy includes a grocery budget of $50 a week. All of this stuff was only $40, which is really good. So I'm $10 below my budget this week. Happy about that. I got all the essentials that I need at the moment. Now I'm just gonna put my groceries away. I definitely need to do a fridge clean out pretty soon as well. This is a lot. I don't know if I'm gonna fit groceries in here. Groceries are put away. I'm just gonna leave my produce. A little towel on my island just because I feel like they're still kind of wet from me washing them. So I like to let them just air dry out before I put them away. But yeah, that was my grocery order.